Okay guys, what's up? Jason Andrews, AKA the All-American Driver. And today we're gonna try it again, okay? Apparently the truck is done, it's ready to go. Um, now I know you guys along with myself have been wondering like what happened? Um, so you guys know I got a new motor replaced in the truck and then the next day it was like misfiring really bad, shaking really bad. So I took it back to the dealer. Uh, we changed the spark plugs and we changed the coil pack. Still having the problem, big misfire. And also it was running a little bit low on compression on cylinder number seven. So they had to get uh, authorization from Dahmer to open up the engine. Dahmer is the company that sent me the new motor because I couldn't get one from Ford. Uh, they were on back order for no one knows who, how long. And so Dahmer said, yeah, okay, this is strange because you know they warranty the engine also. And uh, they open it up. A cracked valve spring. Very strange. I mean, this is basically a brand new motor. Um, who knows? They open it up. Sure enough, cracked valve spring. So they replaced it and they've they they put it back together. Apparently, it's driving perfect, sounding perfect. The, uh, all the compression is normal now, and uh, they are sending someone to go pick up the truck to pick me up to go get the truck. Right, Andre's at work, so I don't have a ride to get there. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hey. Sorry, I just want to talk to you instead of texting. Oh, I was uh, vlogging. Oh, sorry. So, uh, you're on camera, but I'm going to stop recording now. Alright, when the wife calls you, you got to answer the phone. So, they're sending the ride. Um, cracked valve spring. Who knows what the deal is, but apparently everything is great. So, they're sending someone to pick me up, and... Cross our fingers, okay, that the truck just runs perfect forever. Or until I screw it up, you know, but um, uh, we've been through a lot with this truck, seriously. And um, I don't want to abandon it yet because I do uh, really enjoy the Raptor and the idea of what it can do. Um, especially now with the TRX coming out, the new V8 uh, Jeep coming out. I think it's a good time for trucks, like performance trucks, and I kinda, I, I wanna be involved with that. And the Raptor is still, like the Gen 1 Raptor is still legit, you know? It's got a good motor, obviously great suspension. It looks really good still. There's a ton of aftermarket support for it, so I don't wanna abandon it. I have parts, I have parts in the garage, I have parts on the way. Um, I finally found some wheels. Everywhere has been back ordered. Okay, but uh, you guys know Sh uh, Kai, you know, he's got the the R, the Terminator, the Raptor, uh, everything. I mean, he's basically the king of Kitsap County here in the car game. He, uh, anyways, he, he got me some wheels. Uh, so super thankful. I'm, I'm not going to reveal any of that yet, but um, prob probably within the next week or so, we'll be putting some new wheels. Uh, really awesome set of wheels on the Raptor. Super pumped about that. So I'm just waiting for my ride. And uh, we'll pick up the truck and again, just cross our fingers, you know, that, that it does exactly, uh, you know, what we want it to do, which is just drive like normal, you know. So, okay, let's wait for the ride. Zerg, you stay, Kerrigan, stay. So this is your name there, <laughs> Yeah, so this is all supposed to just be one piece. Yep. Is this getting sent back to the engine place? Uh, I if think they, they ask for it. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. What was that? Yep. Well, no check engine light. Huh? No check engine light sounds healthy.
Now see, this is what the engine is supposed to sound like. Yep. Ah. Okay, what can I do? Okay, well, we're back in the, the Raptor. Let's see here. Okay, so 89,000 miles on it. That's when our new motor starts. Looks like it's already up to operating temperature, so they must have driven it around a little bit. Uh, in fact, I think over the last, uh, you know, 24 hours or so, they've driven it quite a few times because they don't want me to have to come back again. Everybody just wants me to, you know, enjoy this truck. That that dealership, Port Orchard Ford, my service advisor, Ward, um, he has just been so helpful, uh, really. I mean, he helped me with the motor replacement on the Shelby. And now with this, I mean, I couldn't have, I couldn't ask for a, a better team down there at Port Orchard Ford. So, again, just from you know, I don't know if they watch this, but from me to you, um, you know, Ward and Dave, the guy that actually put the engine in this thing, you know, thank you guys so much, really. And and if anyone's in uh, this area, the Pacific Northwest, and they need something, I mean, I, I wouldn't hesitate to to reach out, you know. So basically, when I got the new motor and the Shelby. Um, you know, I tried not to keep it at the same RPM, you know, for the first little while. So I'm kind of doing that here. You know, we, we take it up a little bit. I've got it in manual right now, manual mode. So I can just kind of rev up a little bit and then take it back down. I don't know if I really need to do that or not um, for a remanufactured engine. Um, but it's just something for a little bit of peace of mind, even if we go down into second. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this thing, but it sounds like a monster. Obviously not like incredibly fast, you know, we all know um, the Raptor's not that fast, but... So that's kind of what I've been doing to try to, you know, break in this motor a little bit. Um, again, I'm not going crazy with it when I did with the Shelby because I think that this motor, it has a lot better track history than, uh, you know, the GT350. Um, but I will, you know, do my best, you know, without, you know, being paranoid or something to kind of break this motor in. And this process will probably last, you know, maybe 500, maybe a thousand miles. And uh, then I'll get the oil changed and then we really should just be, be good to go. I think the gods have smiled upon us today because it has been raining for four days straight. I have been driving the R in the pouring rain, pitch black, getting to work in the morning you know, for the last couple days. <laughs> and of course, today when the truck is done, it is not raining, all right? I mean, funny, I'm not complaining, um, but just funny how that works. Make no mistake though, winter is coming and I mean, this truck, you know, this is a staple in our garage, you know? Andre's got the Jeep, so it's not that big of a deal for her, but for me, you know, I really can't be driving the R, you know, when it gets much colder and that's that's just the truth. So I actually just got a call. I'm on my way home. I just got a call from Ward, my service advisor. And remember when I picked up the truck, the remote start wasn't working? Well, apparently they went ahead and ordered a new hood switch um, that they're actually not gonna charge me for. And it literally came in, you know, minutes after I left the dealership. So I'm gonna turn around. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. Uh, and, and God, wouldn't that be great if the remote start started working again today? With the, uh, that, that would be very good timing. Problem is, there's not anywhere to turn around and I'm in like rush hour traffic. So, uh, I gotta do it. I just have to do it. I have to turn around somehow. But you can see here, we're not like in a place that's able to turn around for 
multiple miles. So yeah, I'd, I'd go there, but I, I have to go over there, so. Okay, good morning everybody. So uh, it is the next day, beautiful day up here in the Northwest, and I will just say that my neighbors are gonna hate me. 